The combat system is as Columbia Games as it gets. It is an example of the traditional Columbia block war game system. Uh, the blocks are revealed in combat and they activate in order of initiative as indicated by the letters. The A before the Bs, the Bs before the Cs and the Cs go last in this game. There are no Ds. And the A's of the defender will activate before the A's of the attacker, B's of the defender before B's of the attacker, and C's of the defender before C's of the attacker. Suppose that here we have the uh, confederate player attacking the union player. When activated in combat, a block can either retreat to an adjacent location or fire. A firing block will roll a number of dice equal to its present strength, in this case it would be 3, 2, 2, and then the firing block will inflict a hit on the opponent for each number that is rolled, which is equal to or lower than the firepower of the unit, which is the small number printed by the letter there. That means that this block here would inflict a hit on the opponent for each one or two that it rolls. Hits are applied immediately, combat is never simultaneous, and hits are applied to the strongest block or blocks of the opponent. In case of a tie, like we would have here if the union player were to take a hit, well, in case of a tie, the owning player chooses the block that receives the hit, but you always have to start from the strongest block. During the first round in which the artillery over the attacker fires in combat, the attacking artillery has a penalty of minus one to its fire power. So A2 would fire as A1. That penalty never applies to the artillery of the defender. A battle will last three rounds of full combat in which both sides are attacking. Uh, after that, if at the end of the third round of combat there are still units of the defender in the location of the battle, then the attacker has to retreat. So the fourth round of combat will be used by the, uh, the attacking units to retreat only, whereas the defending units can keep attacking the retreating enemy units and in that fourth round the cavalry units of the uh, of the defender have their fire power increased by one. Suppose that this cavalry were defending in round four then the cavalry would attack with b3 fire power. 